The woman imitated Snow White's wicked stepmother and handed the red apple in her hand to the maid who was good at making poison. The maid who was good at making poison gladly accepted the challenge and did all right by inserting the extract containing Croton into the apple. Then Catherine handed her the task of delivering the poison to the coachman and told her to give the poisoned apples to him. Why did Catherine go to the trouble of killing the coachman in private? Because they had a secret the night and Catherine was expecting him. But after waiting most of the night, when she sent her maid to invite someone, she learned bad news. Finally, she went to Henry's room, and she saw a terrible scene outside the door. Her husband stayed with Anna again, and did things in the name of reading the Bible. Anna gave her an arrogant look, completely lost in her anger. She went to her coachman and decided to use his power to conceive a child. Catherine meets with the coachman late at night. When Anna learns of this, she threatens Catherine not to steal her Henry or her scandal will be made public. Catherine's life experience since childhood has taught her that mercy to her enemies is cruelty to herself. So she first poisoned the coachman and then took action at the royal morning meeting. She sincerely knelt down and said that she had not fulfilled her dowry promise and had not succeeded in conceiving Henry's child. She volunteers to be a servant and take good care of Henry and his new wife. To crush Anna's wish, Catherine also suggested to the king that Henry's new wife should be a young and pure girl. The king was touched by her selflessness. The king not only promised her to stay in France, but also insisted on keeping her seat. Catherine did more than these things afterwards because Henry was unwilling to kill innocent people. He was told by the king that he was a weak and incompetent man. Catherine found the opportunity to comfort him, and she won her husband's favor. But Anna was able to make Henry do something against his will with just one word. Catherine finds that no matter how hard she tries, she cannot win his heart. In order to stabilize her position in France, she finds cooperation with the Sultan of Turkey and tries to convince him to attack the Roman Empire in alliance with France and take back the land as long as she returned the promised dowry. The rest of the benefits would be given to him, and he immediately agreed to the offer. Catherine's act of sending her husband to war made the king praise her. Catherine's position in France was stable again. Only Anna felt dissatisfied. She told Catherine, if Henry dies on the battlefield, I will torture you. Catherine was no longer afraid at this point. It's memory, childless or not, I'll be his widow, which you once told me was the best thing a woman could hope to be.